We have soil sensors and plots throughout the field. Soil sensors in a test field tell George Graff how soybeans perform with and without irrigation. So right now it's downloading data. Data downloaded routinely over the years identifies the soybean variety with the highest yield under both irrigated and dry land conditions. That's the goal of the breeding program is to try to find varieties that use uh, inputs efficiently well, if you're an irrigated producer and will do well for like the dry land or rain fed producers. A strong soybean breeding program at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln led to an agreement with Bayer Crop Science to improve yield and develop new soybean traits for producers around the world. We have a lot of good high yielding material that's attractive to um, companies like Bayer and others. New Tech Ventures plays an important role in connecting the university with industry. The ultimate goal is to put these things into practice and and so that's, I think, what they help facilitate. Improved yield and development of drought-resistant crops saves producers money, protects natural resources, and will help feed a global population. By 2050, we're going to have to feed 9.6 billion people. So one important goal that we have uh, is to try to increase the rate of genetic gain for yield. Graf says innovation, like a versatile soybean variety, motivates him to keep searching for solutions that benefit others. You see the first data come in, and then you see the second year, and then it's you know, basically proven that it's really a top line and it's going to be a game changer, potentially. That's really exciting.